Aloha, and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner, brought to you by Caldwell Banker, Sakamoto Properties. Here we are again. It's another Thursday at noon, and so much is happening in Maui, in Lahaina, where we are now in Wailuku. In the world. In the world, yes. Yep. It's pretty frightening. We've been sitting here in the studio getting ready to go on the air, and there's just so many things that I think are really worth talking about. We're going to try to squeeze in some real estate to see if somebody will call us after we've been here. But I feel like we really want to talk about what's going on in the pandemic, things that are changing here in Maui County. Everybody has been working so hard. Uh, The mayor, Victorino, has been amazing, I think, doing his best. And sometimes, you know, like all of us, we're all trying to do our best and make good decisions about our personal lives and our business lives, et cetera. And we are stuck with what's happening around us politically. But in a way, I think we've got to go with it. And I support Mayor Victorino in working for us here. Yeah, his new proclamation, uh, opening uh, restaurants to outdoor dining, I think that's big. As we hopefully start moving back into a little bit of normalcy. Uh, I know it's tough at, you know, during these times, but uh, uh, hopefully we're getting there. Now that the vaccines are are starting to come out also. Well, one thing right now at KAOI, the real estate, the the real estate, (laughs) the radio station where we're located with the show today is so set up for Christmas that everywhere you go, if you go into the bathroom, the door opens and sets off a great Christmas song. So all over here, if they touch one thing, it goes into running off like 30 different little musical I don't know. It's been really fun here. Just walk in the bathroom. You better go to the bathroom at least once. It's fun to be in there. (laughs) But I think, you know, were you looking at the thing today, Roy? We were talking, or I was reading it, but I think you kept ending up on the phone about this new app that's going to be working in Maui County. Now, we're all a little questionable on it, but there's some sort of an app coming out, and I think you can look for the Aloha Safe Alert map or app uh, launched in Maui County you know, for COVID-19. And they're doing the thing that if you're on it, theoretically, they, they, I guess they're going to be able to tell you if somebody who tested positive for the virus was within six feet of you, uh, et cetera. I think it's a little scary to me because we're all being tracked too much, but it's still interesting. Well, I think if enough of us do this, um, it, it, it'll help. Um, what's the app called? Well, what they're calling it here is Aloha Safe Alert app. And there's we've got a, a, a website here, but I think it's way too long to get through and have anybody actually be able to write it down. It comes, I think, through MauiNow.com. So that's probably a place that you can go and then find the Aloha Safe Alert app. So that would be worth doing it. But let's all think about it. I'm not sure that I want to do it this minute, but I sure want to think about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. So we're again today. I think we want to talk a little bit more about this. We have Dr. Norm Esten, who's going to call in in a little bit and kind of fill us in. He's one of the doctors on Maui that's been diligently working and adding on places to be tested. And I think is going to be one of the strongest forces, you know, when we actually are able to get the upcoming vaccinations. So I I know that it's a whole circle of people, of doctors, of executives, of politicians that are going to be making this happen, but let's all be ready for it. And I think it is going to be, I guess, a category, you know, different categories when you're able to get the vaccine. For me right now, I think it's a definite, I would get it. And the most of the people around me feel that way. But we'll see as um, as the time comes. But I think most of us probably have got to make that decision to go for it. Don't you think, Roy? Oh, absolutely. It's um, very strange times we're in right now. And um, as we usually do during our show, um, we should talk about some of the Maui charities, especially, uh, you know, during this time of year. Um, it, it's kind of weird. It's... Um, you know, I know the kids are looking forward to Christmas and, and New Year's and so forth, but it's uh, it's definitely different this year, more than any other year that I can remember. I think it's going to be really hard for families. 
I mean, the only hopeful thing, well, there's many hopeful things, but let's say is that within the family structure, if people do whatever they can to decorate, and it could be a very small amount, it could be a, a lots of things, but whatever they have, if they somehow just get it out of the closets and get it out of wherever you store it and set it all up. So even if there aren't tons and tons of presents, if, if you find a way to have music playing, I think most of us can do that on a computer or a cell phone or a radio station and be able to be listening to Christmas music, maybe turn off the television some of the time so your kids can feel kind of festive and know that next year will be better. But there are places that I think are making plans for gifts for children in certain age groups and I'm not sure of what they are right now, but let's all try to figure that out for people. No, and, um, you know, driving to the station today, we, we passed a long line of cars waiting to get into the community church in Kahana. Uh, they're distributing food boxes for the needy, and uh, it, it was kind of heartbreaking. There was over a mile of cars lined up, and... Uh, you know, I, I think we need to help our neighbors in this time. And, um, you know, let's do whatever we can. Let's support organizations like the Maui Food Bank. Uh, Maui Food Bank does a hell of a job uh, helping the community, feeding our ohana. And, uh, you know, just we need to contribute. Everybody in our community needs to get out there, contribute. Uh, remember our kupuna Holly Makua is, is doing a great job with our kupuna, with the frail and elderly. Uh, we just had a Zoom board meeting this morning that was almost two hours long. Uh, glad to hear that uh, Holly Makua will be getting the vaccine uh, to our residents uh, who want them, and hopefully a majority of our residents will want them, as well as our staff. Um, so hopefully right after the first of the year, I think we'll be using the, uh, the Moderna uh, vaccine instead of the Pfizer vaccine, which is uh, you know, a little harder, a little more fragile. It takes a uh, deep freeze with the dry ice and so forth on the Pfizer. Moderna is, um, is a little easier to handle and refrigerate. It's, um, it both need two doses. So uh, hopefully, you know, towards the end of January, first part of February, uh, the residents and staff at Halimakua will be fairly well protected. You know, quickly going back to the food drop, it's a Citizens um, Church, I, th I think is the name of the church yeah, back Citizens there. Church, right. But, you know, as we were saying that and talking, and, you know, it is the, the, quote, needy, and people are used to seeing that word. But, you know, most of the people in that line, they're not typically the needy people. They're the people who are working full time all the time. There are people that just have young children, and they've been laid off a lot, you know, so they haven't been getting a paycheck, or they've been getting a little bit of this, and they get maybe, you know, different sources of money, different sources of income. Maybe one isn't there, and someone's trying to teach the kids. But, you know, to have to go out there and stand in line for food has to be the most overwhelming thing for anybody. And again, having looked at that today, these are people that are in our community. They're the people that have worked among us forever. And it's so hard. And I, you know, I just hate to even say, you know, put a name on them, like needy. I mean, there, there are people that just, I don't know, just need help no, right now. A, it's, yeah, there are friends and neighbors. There are and, friends uh, and neighbors. You know, uh, we need to give our community a helping hand. In, in any way that we can. I mean, maybe we should also check with and, and we will when we leave the show today check with a couple of the local churches there's a methodist church nearby and just see if there's anything that we can do even to just drop off some toys maybe if all of us i mean i know there's bigger organizations for it but i think that sometimes to just get to the people that are let's say for us in lahaina in west maui somewhere we're going to have to just see if we can find one setup that would accept gifts and try to distribute in whatever way they can. And maybe the same thing, Wailuku, Kahului, Kihei. And I know that other people are doing it, but if anybody hears this and wants to give us a suggestion, and if other people call us, we'll try to direct them uh, to a place that will still be able to get them 
to people that are just looking for a little fun, some puzzles and some games and some music maybe, some just little toys, anything will make a child happy. Oh, absolutely. Feel free to call us. Uh, Betty is 870-7062. And, and Roy is yep. 870-7060. All right. Yeah, call very us. close. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, didn't want to get down uh, on, in a down mode here, but, uh, you know, let's support our, our local friends, neighbors, um uh, with the you know our charitable donations whenever we can, and it doesn't have to be a monetary uh, uh, contribution. It could be uh, volunteering an hour or two of of your time to help somebody um, go shopping for them or or whatever you know. Just, Sometimes uh, somebody that just helps get the Christmas ornaments off the shelves, and. You know, everybody isn't as strong as everybody else. And I think a lot of times, you know, there are a lot of single mothers, you know, couples that are trying the best to work all they can, but to actually find the time to get the stuff all down and maybe set up a tree or help somebody get a tree. Anything that we can all do, let's give it a shot. Yeah, absolutely. I think we have Norm calling in pretty soon. So what if we took a couple of these listings and properties? Well, you know, yeah, we we are a real estate program. Um, we try to talk about stuff in the community, but uh, we are a real estate program. You know, you started the show by saying, you know, uh, brought to you by Coldwell Banker, Sakamoto Properties. And um, for those of you who are not familiar with our merger, um, we were Sakamoto Properties for... 40 plus years. 40 plus years. And... Uh, Back in February or March of this year, we merged with uh, Coa Banker Island Properties, and uh, it's been a great, great merger for us. Uh, it's allowed us to um, kind of expand our scope, and uh, uh, the power of Coa Banker has been fantastic, and we've we've learned a lot. Well, it we have learned a lot. It's been really amazing. And from the standpoint of Caldwell Banker Kapalua, which is our office now located on Office Road at Kapalua, we have just knocked the socks off the market at Kapalua in particular and and other places. But we have had unbelievable sales, unbelievable attention from people looking for upper-end properties. So we've been really fortunate. Yeah. Well, not only upper-end, but, uh, you know, throughout – one of the most satisfying sales we've had was uh, helping this young couple buy their first apartment at Napili Villas. And uh, that was really fun. That was great. They were excited. They, they, um, they got their mortgage all lined up. We helped them throughout the whole process, and uh, it, it was fantastic. So uh, uh, if they're out there listening, you know who you are. I don't want to mention your names, but... Uh, we had a lot of fun, and thank you for trusting us with your first purchase. You know, as you say that, it, this is another good time to mention interest rates are still in the twos and low threes. So anybody looking to make a first-time purchase, and it is difficult because so many people have been laid off, and there's so many things that are going to affect anybody trying to purchase, but it still is going to work for many. There's a lot of community programs still there's a variety of first-time home buyers, maybe nothing down. Uh, unfortunately, it does still mean you've got to have income. But again, call us, and we'll work with you or have someone in our office that maybe specifically is working in the area that you're hoping to buy and help you with different lenders and talking to people. Even if you can't do it right now, this could be a great time to get the process started. Yeah, and there's a lot of people looking to move up. Um, Whether you're in a studio condominium right now and want to expand and get into a one-bedroom condominium or a two-bedroom condominium or maybe a small house, um, call us. We'll help you. Um, Roy at 870-7060. Betty, 870-7062. And take a look at our website, which is sakamotoproperties.com. That's plural, sakamotoproperties.com. And from there, you can get into every property that's for sale through the multiple listing service in Maui. So it'll get you wherever you want to go, every price range, and really help you a lot. 
And if it isn't easy to navigate, again, call us and we'll do our best to help you. Sometimes specifically, you keep looking and you're looking for something and then maybe it's already under contract. So we can help you in many ways. So check in with us and uh, we'll do our best to see to it that it all works. Yeah, and even if you're looking for, let's say, something uh, upcountry or Wailuku or Kahului, uh, call us. Uh, we have offices. Cobalt Banker has offices in, in these locations. So uh, we'll be more than happy to help you. You know, one of the properties for sale right now that I'd like to mention uh, at the ridge at Kapalua, 1413 dash 15. Uh, it's the best buy right now, dollar-wise. It's in really great shape. It's not new. It's pretty original, but it really works and is rentable. So I think that for anybody, it's it's a property to take a look at. So if you were looking for something at Kapalua, two bedroom, three bath, give us a call on that and we'll supply you with all the details. Or again, look at our website, sakamotopropertiescom then yeah, this a, is yeah, this is a, a really huge uh, two bedroom, three bath. Uh, I think it's over seventeen hundred square feet interior, and uh, well laid out. You know, a couple of the others that we had, you know, kind of copied and brought along with us. Robert Myers with the Kanapali office. Well, actually, Kapalua Kanapali office. Kapalua office. Kapalua. Sorry about that. Right. Yeah. It is one hundred one Pihaa Street listed. Four bedroom, three and a half bath, 1.7 million. Uh, really nice home, uh, 31, almost 3,200 square feet, nice lot, uh, good view. So I think it really is worth taking a look at. It, um, if, what have you got on any of these others, Roy? Yeah, uh, here's one listed by Elizabeth Quayle uh, from our office. Elizabeth is at uh, 2766061. And she's got a great listing at 166 Halelo Street in the Ka'anapali Vista uh, subdivision. It's uh, two bedrooms, four baths, just under 2,000 square feet. And the lot is about a quarter of an acre. And it's listed at 1369000 It was a $30,000 price reduction. It was first on the market at $1,399,000. And now it's a million three sixty nine. So uh, Elizabeth Quayle at two seven six six zero six one. You know, a couple of other Roy uh, Front Street, eleven thirty three Front Street, is also listed by Elizabeth Quayle. Three bedrooms, three baths, over two thousand square feet of living space, right near Baby Beach. Really a spectacular location. Uh, listed at a million nine fifty really worth taking a look at if you want to be in Lahaina, whether it's going to be a second home. But you see with the neighborhood there, people walking over to the beach, you can get to the grocery stores. It really is a great, great home. It's really close to uh, what we call Baby Beach and uh, really a short walk to downtown Lahaina. Yeah, you can kind of get anywhere. You can get to Safeway, almost anywhere. Yeah. And then our other Front Street one, 271 Front Street, now, that's totally different game plan. Uh, that's uh, oceanfront. You, you have the frontage on that, don't you? Right. It's, uh, this is located down on the south end of Front Street, down towards uh, Puamana. Uh, it's got the largest frontage of any uh, property on Front Street, uh, about 180 feet of frontage, ocean frontage, right on Front Street, uh, or right on the ocean, 271 Front Street. House hey, wait, was wait, built you in 1942. Say, you better admit that you were out swimming there as a kid. Um, one of my best buddies uh, lived there. There were three homes at 271, 281, and 291 Front Street that uh, we sold for Pioneer Mill, the sh local sugar company. And uh, how long ago did we sell those? 15, 20 years That's ago? It's more than 20. Yeah. Um, anyway, we sold three of those homes for the Pioneer Mill Sugar Company, and uh, we thought all of these owners would raise the homes and build something new. None of them have. This one has come back on the market at uh, 2995000 uh, 180 feet of ocean frontage, and uh, give us a call if you want to look at this. It's 870-7060 um, for Roy. 870-7062 for Betty. 
that again going back to that house i can't quite give it up it is livable it's very old it was built in what 1942 42 yeah. yes and uh it, there's great stories about how what goes on with that house oh yeah uh no as i mentioned uh, one of my best buddies lived there his his father worked for pioneer mill and uh for the old timers here, we uh, made our own tin boat. We uh, take it out fishing, paddle out, uh, capsize it a few times, but um, uh, we had a lot of fun. I'll bet you capsized it a lot, <laughs> from well, what I can tell there. Yeah, maybe. I'm, uh, I'm trying to see if Dr. Eston is going to be able to get to us. It, we're running a little bit late now, and, and I'd expected him to call before this. But if not, he'll show up for next week and fill us in a little bit more on the testing, et cetera. Yeah, he's been really, really busy. He's helped the uh, Maui County uh, quite a bit. I know he's met with uh, the mayor. And uh, thank you, Dr. Eston. Thank you for all of the medical uh, community that we have here on Maui. Uh, thank you for all your efforts, doctors, nurses, uh, everybody else connected, because this COVID is not going to go away anytime soon. But uh, Thank you for all your efforts. That really is a great one to mention. All of the medical people uh, here in Maui, you know, Lahaina, everywhere, and how hard they're working. Dr. Norm has ended up, you know, doing a lot of the testing and opened up a different, another office over here in Kahului. And he's, his primary offices have always been West Maui, but he is, like, running the streets all the time from one office to another you know, being sure that everything is going okay, that testing is happening, and a uh, busy, busy man, and those around him the same. And we know that every medical person right now has to be, their families have to be frightened. Everyone has to be nervous about their health because there are seeing so many different people, even though it's drive through et cetera. So I'd like to say, everybody, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, including our first responders, our uh, emergency medical personnel and the firefighters and our police. Uh, thank you for all your efforts. Uh, many, many mahalos. And uh, hopefully, you know, this will all ease up in the near future and we can, again, get back to some semblance of uh, halfway normal life. So maybe as we end the show today, let's go back and all think about Christmas. And I don't know about everybody else, but I've got to admit, I've been having a hard time with it. I just feel sad sometimes, sad that I can't do the things I want to do, or I can't leave Maui and take a quick trip to see grandkids or my family back in Buffalo, New York. And I've always, well, most of the time, I've been able to travel to do that when I wanted. Of recent years, there were times that it was a lot harder to be able to ever get to Buffalo. But you know, it's, I'm sad. I'm sad that I can't do those things. And let's remember to help one another when we're feeling that way or, or to speak up and say it out loud to someone so that they may feel the same way and are holding it in. And I've read so many things recently about our, and women in particular, but I'm sure it's men and women, get a little depressed all of, with everything happening. And especially the young women that have children and financial issues and you know, aren't in the middle you of you know a great what's been job. great though is is FaceTime. So the FaceTime does FaceTime help. has been awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, and I guess we're anyway, back to Danny Couch. Yeah, Meli Kalikimaka. Happy holidays, everybody. And how Oli Makahiki Ho. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Danny Couch. Aloha. 